Hi, I'm Julian Cox, and today we're gonna to show you how to add an air to your cocktail. This technique was developed by Fran Adria at El Bui, and it's been used in culinary applications ever since. We've been using it in cocktail applications since about 2010. And we're gonna show you today how to make it for a cocktail using sucro or soy lecithin. So the ratio for soy lecithin is between a quarter percent and one percent soy lecithin. In other words, if I had 100 grams of whatever liquid I was using, I would be using one gram max of soy lecithin. If you use too much soy lecithin, it will make your air fall apart. Okay, so for the sake of time, I put together a juice mixture of nectarines and some plums that I had with some Meyer lemons. And I had about 250 grams of that juice. To that, I added 50 grams of sugar and 100 grams of water. So we know we need, we need to start with two grams of soy lecithin. All right, so now that we have the soy lecithin here, we're gonna sprinkle it over the top and try to get it all over the place. You want it to spread out all over. You wanna avoid lumps. So we're gonna kind of spread that all across the top here. So here I made a basic guava collins. I left some headspace at the top so that you have plenty of room for the stone fruit air. And then I garnished it with nectarine and lemon thyme. Boom, pear brandy. We're gonna make a pear brandy air. With sucro, you can totally use a juice if you want to instead of using pear brandy. You can totally do that but you wanna make sure that you keep this, the ratios the same. So 0.5% to 1.5% in that range of sucro when you add that into your liquid is gonna work out perfectly. So now we're gonna add 225 grams of pear brandy, our 110 grams water with our 15 grams of 30% syrup. And then we're gonna finish with 2.5 grams of sucro. I made a peach daiquiri here. I like to put it in on one side so it kind of covers the one side. We're gonna have some apples. And this is some opal basil from the garden. And a little bit of spearmint. So just to end with sucro, you wanna always remember to keep the ratios fairly similar. If you wanna sub out pear brandy for something else, a juice or an infusion, you can go ahead and do that. But it's really important that you remember sucro works at 0.5% to 1.5%. So I always figure it somewhere in the middle. So if I'm gonna do 0.7%, I'll just do 0 0.007 times whatever the total amount of weight is. And then I'll go up a tenth of a percent there until the, the air is perfect. So with sucro, and with um, soy lecithin, you can use these recipes. They're interchangeable. Have fun.